but then you have the campaign, right? Oops. Hey everyone, there's a stack of us and today I got something really cool for the Solitaire Print and Play Game Design Contest because today I will be playing Rome in a Day. Uh, and why is that interesting or cool? Well, first of all, this is a pretty interesting game with an interesting concept, so I'm looking forward to show that to you. And also, um, this is by Cock Me In, that's the designer who also designed Journey with Zombies. You might remember my coverage of last year's Solitaire Print and Play Game Design Contest um, of that game. I covered that game last year and, well, I'll be covering his game for this year as well. Alright, so um, here we have everything we need for the game. So before we get started, and I will speak about that, let me just quickly set up the game and also set the exposure. Alright, and that should be pretty much all of it. So, um, this is Rome in a day. Um, our goal is it to um, get as many glory points as possible. And we do that by doing different things. So, we do have that map here. We can expand Rome. We can also build these monuments here. Um, we can also build specific buildings. Um, and these all can give us points, like these glory points. These are these are indicated by these um, by these um, golden symbols here, right? Which definitely makes sense. All right, so um, I will not explain the game too much in detail beforehand. I will just start playing and then I will show you how it works. But just as a very quick overview, in general, it works like this. We draw three cards and then we can either choose the top or the bottom action and then we discard everything. And when the entire stack is empty, we have the first invasion. Um, for the invasion, we either have to pay in military strength here, or we have to remove a cube from whatever we have conquered here. Um, and that happens three times. After the third invasion, the game ends, and we count up our glory points and compare them with the score chart here. So really simple concept. Um, um, but also quite effective. You will see that in a moment. Also, you have these cards here just that are um, not quite in frame. Um, we don't need to have them in frame. These are for a possible campaign. After the game, I will show you how that works, um, but we don't need those for now. All right, and that um, is everything. So now we can start. So we draw three cards, one, two, three. Um, and then we see our cards here. So there are two things we can do. Um, either we can do the top um, action, so to speak, and that always means we just get the resources that I depicted there. You see, we have three resources here, right? Um, and these three resources we can increase or decrease depending on what we do. Um, these are industry here, we have culture and military, right? So um, for example, if we chose that card, then we would get to culture, we would just move that cube up to the three, and then we would discard all the three cards and then draw three new ones. And that's how we would continue. Alternatively, we can also choose the um, actions at the bottom. These are all the th same actions, so to speak. So you see that um, there are certain resources we have to pay, which we don't have at the moment. And then we can take a cube and put them on the respective monument. So either the Senate, the Senate or the Triumphal Arc. And these uh, monuments will give us things at the end uh, at the end of the game or during the game. So um, some of them give us just glory points. Um, this one um, removes any effects of the invasion, which is really strong. That's um, what I used in, my, in the best game I had. Um, here we can just exchange military and culture. Um, uh, resources with, with one another, that's pretty good. This one gives us glory points for each building we have put down, and this gives us glory points for each um, for each region that we have conquered. And the Colossus just gives us just glory points, but four, which is really, really a lot. And this one gives us glory points um, as the number of the resources we have the fewest of at the end of the game. Um, so this is what the monuments do. So at the moment we can't build any of them because we don't have enough resources. So let's just, um, I think we should be ready for the first invasion because we will not be able to thwart it even with the Senate, uh, with the, with the um, Colosseum here. So um, I think I will just get two military, military um, 
resources for now. All right, so let's draw the next three cards. See what we have here. So same thing, we can spend resources to build and um, start building the Hippodrome or the Great Lighthouse. You see, we have to build them twice, like we have to invest twice in order to build the monument, but we still don't have the resources we need for that. Here we have a different action. This one means we also pay these resources here, and then we can build that building here. And this building um, is really good because um, that one gives us, like whenever we earn that type of resource down here, oh, you can see it. Let me just pull it up a little bit more like this. So whenever we, we, um, we receive that resource within, um, like in one turn, in a specific turn, um, then we get two more of that resource, right? Um, so that is really nice. Um, this is the industry resource here, but we can't pay that for now. So I will just use the mine up here in order to get three of these resources. So first we need, just need to gather a few resources and to be able to do something, right? Um, but these cards are really strong. So let's see here. So same thing here. We can actually build the theater here, um, the amphitheater, because um, we do have two um, industry resources and one culture. And we do have that here. And then we could build that and get more culture every time. That is not bad. Here we can build the building as well with these resources and we just get the glory points here at the end of the game. Um, and this one gives us, if we use that action, it gives us as much culture as um, as regions we have occupied at the moment, only Rome. By the way, we lose if we don't have Rome, um, if we have to discard that cube, that can happen due to an invasion. But we will build that one here. So I pay, we'll pay two of these and one of those. And so we can build that building here. So that is pretty good, like this. Okay, the other ones are discarded and then we continue drawing cards. So let's see. Um, let's see. So we definitely need some more resources. Um, what resources do we need? Well, actually let's take the culture one here now because if we take these two culture ones, then we increase it by two, but because we got culture this round, we also get two additional ones. And you see how these cards really accelerate um, what we get in terms of resources. So what we definitely would need to do is get the same card for that one here, and then we are pretty much set regarding resources. So um, Congress is pretty good, actually. Um, Congress means we have to um, pay as much as many military um, resources as we have occupied regions at the moment one, and then we can put a cube on another region. And each region gives us another glory point at the end of the game. Also, we can use these regions to thwart off the invasions, right? So that is a pretty good thing. Um, these would give us glory points again. And here we would get as many um, uh, industry resources as we have as we have regions. But let's do that. So we spent one military resource because we only have one region and then we can put a cube on a new region. And also we will get that resource for that region. So let's, well, if we went, if we took that one, then we would get three again, right? Because we get one and also these plus two here. Um, that would be pretty good, but I think, well, I think I should invest in these a little bit more here and these. So I will go there for now because I want to get such a card soon okay one two three that's the second to last turn in the first round so what do we get here here we can tr start building the triumphal arc here we can do the conquest thing again but we shouldn't do that because we need two military tokens for the invasion that's happening soon and here we can start building the colossus I don't want to do any of those. So I think what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to get these resources here. So we get one, we get one military resource and also one culture. And because we got one culture, we get two more culture. All right, so the last three cards for the first round. So let's see. Um, we can start building the Colosseum, which is really good. I really would like to start building the Colosseum. The marching camp, well, I'm not that interested in military resources actually so i think i will start building the Colosseum. so um i will use this card down here spending three culture and then we can put a cube on the Colosseum. so i only, only need another cube on the Colosseum, and then we have built that that gives us two glory points and we don't have to worry about invasions anymore which is really nice 
All right, the first invasion is now happening because the draw pile is empty. I can't draw from the pile here anymore. So um, either we remove one cube from a region or we pay two military tokens. And I will just pay two military resources. That's fine. And then we take a cube to, to mark that this invasion has happened, that barbaric invasion. And as soon as the third barbaric invasion has happened, the game ends immediately. All right, so what are our goals? Our goals are, first of all, getting such a card for industry um, resources, and then also building the Colosseum, maybe both within this round, and then we can start building up our glory points after that. I think that's a pretty good plan. Okay, one, two, three. Let's just continue here. Okay, so let's see. We don't have anything we really need. Um, uh, well, either we could start building something else, but I'm not really interested in these buildings for now. The Great Lighthouse gives us glory points, not too many. The Senate, uh, the Senate isn't too bad because we can freely exchange resources, right? I think that's what I'm, go what I'm going to do. Let's build the, let's um, do the, let's start with the Senate, I think. Yeah, I think that's what we should do. Let me just put those down here a little bit. So, no, wait. But then I have to spend these. No, no, I want to spend these here. These I want to spend. So, um, spend three of those to put a cube on the Senate. I think that's not too bad. Okay, let's draw three more cards. So what do we have here? Here we have that mine. I definitely want that. Uh, I don't want to look at the other stuff even. So I definitely want to build the mine. That means we need to um, pay three of these uh, industry resources, which we have, and then we can build that. So now, with, whenever we get culture or industry resources, we get um, two extra. That is really nice. We don't get it for each one of the. So if we get like three culture, we don't get like three times two. Right, as as long as we get one culture around at least or more, it doesn't matter how how many how much, then we get these two bonus. So we can't activate that card more than once per round, but we can activate both cards. Okay, so let's stack up on, on some resources maybe now, right? Oh, the Colosseum. Can I build that? Uh, not at the moment. That's bad because there's only two Colosseum cards, so we can't build the Colosseum this round. So we will have to deal with the next barbaric invasion which means that I will take these resources here which is one of those plus two because of the mine and also one military one we need one more military resource to ward off the invasion later on that is fine okay so we could continue where well, we could build something but I think I would rather want to get some resources um, let's do the Colossus let's take these resources because then we get one each plus two each for our buildings here, right? So we are doing really well here. Now we just need one military resource and then I think we are doing not too bad. Oops, let me see here. So um, mm, we could get that here for that military resource because we need those. Let's do that because the it's gonna be empty quite soon. So we get one here plus two for our building we then we get one of those and we get one of those plus two for our building. Okay, so now we're doing well on resources. Now we can build stuff. So let's see. The temple would just give us points. That's pretty good. This would give us two resources. That's not that great because we have, that's already full. We could build the Colossus. The Colossus um, does give us four glory points at the end. So, hmm. So if we build the Colossus twice, then we get four glory points, but the temple gives us two glory points immediately. So I think that might be the better option, right? It's almost the same. Well, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. But let's do that with the temple, I think. Yeah, let's do that with the temple. So um, that is two of the industry resources and one culture. And then we can build our temple. And then we draw the next cards. We can't draw three anymore. So we just draw two. All right, Conquest, yeah, Conquest would be good. Oh no, but we don't have enough military resources for that, no. Then let's just get some resources. Let's get the resources up here. Yeah, 
So that goes full and that goes up to three. Uh, up to nine up there, so we can't go for uh, um, higher than nine, of course. All right, so deck is empty. The next invasion happens, so we need to discard a cube or get rid of three military tokens, and I will just get rid of three military tokens. And um, yeah, that's it. So that invasion is fought off. Now let's hope that we can build uh, the that we can build the Colosseum soon because, um, yeah, I don't want the last barbaric invasion because we have to pay either five military tokens or um, discard two cubes from our regions and that's way too much. Okay, now let's finish the Colosseum and the Senate and then also try to get as many glory points as we can. So let's see. Okay, the Colosseum, let's definitely finish that. Oh, we don't have that military. Token. We need military tokens. So then let's instead, let's use the Colosseum to get two military resources. Okay, there's one more Colosseum in here. So we will be able to build that for sure. So the Great Lighthouse, um, we don't want to build that. The Gardens, the Gardens wouldn't be too bad, right? I mean, they give us just two glory points. We have enough resources. Conquest, no, we need the military tokens for now. So let's just build the gardens, right? So that's two of those and one of those. And then we can just build the gardens here, which is pretty cool. So then three more cards. Uh, so let's see, the Senate. We definitely want to finish up the Senate, right? So that is three culture. Um, so we can put a cube here on the Senate. So the Senate is now uh, ready. And now we can exchange culture and military tokens as we please, which is really great. Um, and also we get two glory points at the end of the game. So we're doing quite well, I, I would say. We don't have as many points as I would like, but it's okay. The Colosseum, there it is. I will not even look at the other cards because we need to finish that. That is three culture, which we have here. We definitely need to regain culture a little bit. And then we can put our cube here. So now the last barbaric invasion will happen, but it will not have any effects, which is wonderful. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, we only have two more turns, and then <laughs> we are already done. So how can how can we maximize our glory points? Let's see. Um, the colossus. Uh, I don't. I think there already was the colossus in here. I think so. I think we won't be able to finish that one. Um, the Hippodrome, same thing, but we could do Conquest, right? Conquest would say we need as many military tokens as we have um, regions, which is two, and then we can have another region, which is just, um, yeah, which is just another glory point later on. And then let's put it on a culture one here because then we get one culture and also plus two culture. So we now have should have enough resources to build anything we want to here. Um, oh, these all don't give us points. Oh no, this doesn't help us at all. So it doesn't really matter what we do here, right? Uh, we can get resources. We can, you know what? Let's just let's just build half of the lighthouse just because, right? I mean, it doesn't do anything, but that's it. And now the last invasion happens. The last barbaric invasion, but it doesn't have any effect because we do have that Colosseum. Um, so that is really nice. So barbaric invasion happens, but we have our Colosseum, so it works. So what we do now is now we count up all of our glory points. And that is really simple because we just count up the glory points from the regions, the finished monuments and our buildings. So we have one, two, three glory points, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And that's it. That's not too bad. My best In my best game, I had actually 14. And now we have 11, which is okay. So now if we take a look at the score chart here, we see that with 11, we are at the Ti 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 Tiberius level. Um, last time I was with 14, I was at the Julius Caesar, um, Caesar um, level. I've never um, reached August, Augustus so far. So, and you see Julius Caesar, it says campaign unlocked. What does that mean? Well, let me show you because we do have a campaign here and that is pretty cool because um, you start with level one and you see then you have level two, three and four and you start with um, emperor and you see no special rules, right? 
um, but you need to reach um, 13 victory points, which we now would have not gotten, right? Now I just got 11. Um, and then after you have finished your game, which you see goes by really quickly, then you turn over and then you see, did you manage to get 13 victory points? Yes or no? If yes, then you have a little bit of story here and you know you go to two emperor. So then you go to two emperor and then you have um, a condition here, like a special rule and your new goal. If you don't, if you can't manage to do it, then the mission would get easier. Then you go to dictator and you see that you have um, even a better a better rule change and still the 15. And then same thing, whether you did that or that one, you turn it over and say, did you ma manage it or not? And then it will guide you through three and then to four at the end. So you can play through the entire campaign and that which is four games, four missions. And that's not that long. You can even play it in one sitting, right? So one of these games takes like 10 to 15 minutes if you know how to play. This video now takes, I think about 20 minutes. It's about 20 minutes long, but I, um, I spoke, I explained a lot. I said a lot of things and whatever. Um, I'm speaking now quite a lot. You're not doing that or usually you shouldn't be doing that. Um, most likely when you're playing the game by yourself, right? So, um, one game takes like maybe 15 minutes maximum. You play four of these four of these missions, so you're done in like an hour, approximately, more or less, right? Roundabout, and that is pretty cool. So within one hour, you have like a small campaign of this game here, and that is pretty cool. Um, so let me, as usual, um, I don't review games that are in progress, especially those that I cover quite early because the designers had less time to refine their games before I cover them. But let me just um, give you my first impression of that. So first of all, um, this is a really neat game in a really small package, right? You just have a few cards here. That's it. You just have these cards and and that map. That's pretty much all you need. And maybe that score chart. Um, and you need these cubes, but that's all. Like really minimal components. You can easily assemble that. Um, the only thing is that I don't know what kind of size these cards are. I have so many sleeves, but somehow I don't have the right ones for these here. So that's why these are a little bit larger, but I like that minimal components and also minimal rules. Um, I did have a few issues with the rules at the beginning, like with one or two aspects, but I asked the designer and he was really helpful um, and just immediately explained everything to me and then everything was fine, but the rules are really minimal. So let me get those, here they are. So you see um, like, Pretty much you just have these two these two pages pretty much right that's all you need to know and um, it's explained quite well there are one or two things that um, could be refined a little bit but these rules are otherwise they work really well oh by the way in the example they already also got 11 glory points just like i did now um so yeah and then you have the campaign mode here you have an faq so the rules are laid out pretty well um, the only thing is, yeah, just one or two things can be refined. But in general, like you have very minimal components, you have very easy and minimal rules. This game is really quick to play, so it pretty much checks all the boxes here. Um, I think this game does have some kind of replay value because the cards always come out differently um, and you can always, um, yeah, do it differently. Um, I think like if you play the game like five to ten times, I think at some point you have seen the entire game, but then you have the campaign, right? Oops. And I think that is the coolest edition, that campaign. I'm also working on a game right now, maybe for this contest, I'm not quite sure. And I do have like a similar idea for like a campaign, for a possible campaign. And I like this, I like the way that it was implemented here because you do have that these small story bits. So you're actually playing through some kind of story. That's pretty cool. I haven't played that one yet. I've only looked at it, but I'm really looking forward to um, also checking that out because it looks pretty cool. That's a really cool addition, um, really well done. And yeah, so also the art style is pretty cool. So I like the game in general. I'm very excited to see where this goes. I think this does have potential to be something bigger, but it doesn't have to be, right? So imagine this one, imagine maybe putting this one, um, I can't do it now, but folding it, maybe making the map even a little bit smaller. You don't need it that large probably, well, it fits for the for the cubes if it's exactly but i think you could maybe do make it a little bit smaller then you can like quad fold it right and i think it would fit like in a pretty small case with like these few cards here and these um you can put them in a really small case and this would be really portable really cool um that's what i like a lot so not a whole lot of components all very small but definitely big enough so 
Good job. I'm really looking forward to where this game goes. Um, so my first impression definitely is very positive, but it all also was with Journey with Zombies, which was a really cool deck builder. If you haven't seen that video, I highly suggest you do. Um, just um, look for that video on my channel. Maybe I will link it up here if I don't forget, um, so you can click on it immediately. But that was a really cool game as well. Um, really fun as well. Just a lot more cards <laughs> than these here, but it was a deck builder, so that was definitely necessary. All right, um, so that was my playthrough of Rome in a day. I hope you enjoyed my little playthrough. And well, if you're still watching, thank you so much for doing so. I really appreciate that. And if this, if this is the first of my videos you're watching, why don't you head over to my channel and check out all the other videos I've published there. There's hundreds of them, so there's probably something you will enjoy. And if you enjoyed this video, why don't you let me know by liking, commenting, or even subscribing, and maybe even joining my Discord server. Um, we are having a lot of fun over there as well. All right. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the very next video. All right. Take care, everyone, and cheers.